welcome to Unstoppable Real Estate Investing Wealth. My name is Billy Alvaro, a.k.a. The Unstoppable VA, former billion-dollar mortgage banker, gone bankrupt, turned professional real estate investor, where each week you'll learn the tools, strategies, systems, and secrets myself and other highly successful real estate investing entrepreneurs use to start, grow, and scale their businesses, creating massive profits, and how you can too. And we'll teach you how to put those profits to work so you no longer have to. Get ready to finally experience financial freedom and generational wealth. Now let's get started. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Unstoppable REI Wealth. I'm your host, Billy Alvaro, the Unstoppable BA, and I'm here today with a solo cast. I'm probably going to do two. I'm going to break this up into a two-part series. If you're new to the show, I'm going to teach you how to start, grow, and eventually scale your real estate investing business. You could learn with me, partner with me, invest with me. Go to BillyAlvaro.com. If you've been watching it for any point of length in time, you realize that I have people who are starting in their business, people who are growing in their business, and then those that have scaled. And I'm telling you, you could learn a little bit from each guy and girl that I have on this show because everybody brings something to the table that they've been able to learn, either something they fail from or something that they've done good that you can take and implement into your life and your business. Now, today I want to speak about something that is related to real estate investing because, I mean, this is all kind of related, but this has to do with what it really takes to succeed in life. Success, whatever your definition is of success, if you're going to start a business, what does it take to succeed in starting that business? Now, there are a lot of people who start and succeed. There are a lot more that start and then end up failing. Why are some of these people successful and others not? I'm going to boil it down to 13, maybe 14 different principles. I'm going to go through these in, uh, in this podcast and then probably a second podcast because I don't think we're going to have enough time to go through all. And then I'm going to explain to you where I got these from. And I think most of you who are going to be listening will understand where this came from. So like number one, if in my view, is if you want, if you want to succeed, what separates those that succeed first? Don't the number one thing first, I should say number one, the first on the list is a burning desire to get to the next level. You have to have a freaking internal burning desire where you're going to be unstoppable, hence unstoppable unstoppable in your desire to go forward and make something happen. That fire has to be in your belly to a point where nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to get in your way. You have to believe it in your mind. You have to feel it in your heart. You have to have that fire in your belly to keep going on a daily basis, even when things look rough. When you're first starting off and you're getting into this wholesaling business or fix and flip business, it's daunting. It's a lot of work. I don't care what the gurus say. It's easy. You can do this overnight. Everything is going to take work. It's going to take time. If you're persistent in what you're doing and you have this burning desire in your belly to want to grow and want to succeed and you have that at the forefront of your mind every day when you get up, when you don't feel like getting out of bed, that desire should pull you out of bed, should jump you out of your, out of your skin and get you to the next level and actually get you to start making something happen. Desire, burning desire, number one on the list, no special order, but the first one we're going over is a desire, a burning desire to make things happen. Number two, this is a big one. Um, this is belief, belief and faith in yourself and belief and faith that you can do it. Now, you know, this is a double edged sword because when you're going down the road to success, it's very easy to start having that negative self-talk, that self-doubt that I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm able to. What if this happens? What, ha what happens if this goes wrong? And so I can tell you this, those negative thoughts pop in your head. You need to real quickly get them out. There's certain incantations that you can do to get these thoughts out of your head. But you have to have belief overall. You have to brainwash yourself on a daily basis with one of the next things I'm going to talk about, which is auto-suggestion. You need to go through and brainwash yourself on a daily basis to have your mind believe that you can achieve exactly the goal that you're setting yourself out to do. Belief in yourself, belief in what you're doing, belief in your cause, belief in your business, belief. You have to believe wholeheartedly that the path you're on, that what you're about to do is what you want to do and that you're going to be able to do it. You have to believe in it wholeheartedly. Couple that with a burning desire and you start to become unstoppable. Belief in yourself, belief in everything, belief in what is going to go on is one of the keys to success. Those that fail, those that, that don't get themselves to the next level, if you talk to them and you find out what the hell went on in their life, most of them are going to tell you they just didn't believe in themselves. 
They just didn't believe in their cause. They didn't believe in what they were doing. And if you don't believe in what you're doing, how in the hell are you going to get this transferred over to anybody else to believe in you or your business? Belief, the number two rule to success. What separates those that succeed versus those that do not? Number three, and this goes along with belief, is the self-talk, auto-suggestion, using affirmations. I use affirmations. I use incantations. I use these on a daily basis still to this day. This has been 14 years. I have everything that I want to go over in my head. It's a 10-minute process that I go through, and I literally brainwash myself with auto-suggestion, incantations, certain phrases that I utilize to get me focused on what I'm going to do in life, whether it's a new goal or to get my body in shape or whatever it is that I want to achieve, I first have to believe in order to believe it. I have to tell myself on a daily basis what your mind could conceive and what you consistently tell it on a daily basis your mind will believe it. And when your mind believes it, you start to take certain actions. It all goes hand in hand. You'll understand once we go through all 13 or 14 of these on how they all kind of come together. Everything stems from one thing. We're going to make that one thing the last thing that we're going to speak about. But self-talk is key. I had, I had an exercise that was brought to my attention years ago. It was probably, I don't know, at this point, it's probably about 25, 26, 27 years ago. And I spoke about this in one of my earlier podcasts, and it's about your self-talk and what goes on in your head. If you want to do an exercise and see what the hell is going on in your brain on a daily basis, do this over the weekend. Do this on a Saturday and Sunday. They wanted us to do this on a, a seven-day period. It only took me two days to realize how freaking my self-talk was really self-limiting beliefs inside my head. Take a piece of paper out. Take a notepad on your uh, in your notepad. Put it in your phone in your notepad and just put positive and negative. And every time, this is going to be daunting because your mind never stops. Every time something pops in your head, is this a negative thought, self-defeating thought, self-limiting belief? Is it worry? Is it fear? Is it this? Or is it something that's serving me that's bringing you up? I'm almost guaranteed. I'm not almost. I, I guarantee you that if you go through and you do this exercise, if you're having challenges in your life and you do this exercise, I'm guaranteeing you that 80% or more of the thoughts inside your head are self-limiting, are negative are fear-based, are just not serving you at all. And I'm guaranteeing you, if you're successful, you're not going to have to do this, but if you are, I'm guaranteeing you that greater than 90%, 95% of the thoughts that are in your head are self-serving. They're they're serving you to get to the next level. They are positive. It is positive self-talk. It's belief in yourself. It's you know, strategies and ideas of what you can do to excel to the next level. It's a burning desire. It's belief. It's all these different things that actually propels somebody to the next level. So if you want to do this exercise, it's going to take you, it's not going to take you two days. (laughs) I think within two hours, you realize, holy shit, I'm not where I want to go because of the programming, the thinking that's going on inside my head. I'm guaranteeing you this. Silly little things that you can do that are going to move the needle in the right direction. You have to first understand where you're at the effects that are happening in your life, there's a cause, and the cause is inside your head, inside your body. Guaranteed you. All right, next one is uh, number four. Number four on the list to those that separate those that succeed versus those that don't. Number four on the list is to go deep in whatever business you're going to go into. Become a specialist, not a generalist. Now, like, what does that mean? Think about, I want you to think about the comparison of going to a doctor, a general practitioner. This guy goes to school. He spends a lot of time and money going through med school and all this other crap. And he comes out and he's a general practitioner. He's not making a ton of money. He may be making 150, which is a lot of money, but not nearly as much as that who might be a heart surgeon specialist, brain surgeon specialist. So if you want to become successful, you want to start making a lot of money for your time. And and we don't want to trade time for dollars, but based on how much money, how much time you put in, how much you get out, You want to specialize in whatever the hell you do and become the absolute best at it. So how could that transfer over to what we do in the real estate investing market? A lot of guys and girls, when they first start, they get all jammed up. They try to do everything. They try to be a generalist in this real estate investing market. They try to do subject two. They try to do wholesale. They try to do fix and flip. They try to do apartment buildings. They try, they try, they try, they try, try. They're trying everything. And because they're trying everything, because they're trying to do it all, they never specialize in any one thing. If you're getting into this business, what I can share with you is focus. Focus on one thing that you're going to become absolutely fucking phenomenal at. 
kill it in that one thing. If you're not a guy or girl that knows how to systematize, bring somebody in who does. Have them systematize that part of the business for you. And then once it's up and it's running, pull yourself out. Then you can go on to number two and start building a different division with a different profit stream. But I'm telling you, if you're going to come into this business and you think you're going to do it all, you're going to be learning and learning and learning and never really earning the money you deserve. You can make a shit ton of money in any one line you go down. Me podcasting, interviewing all these guys and girls from across the nation, every single person that comes on here does things a little bit different. Does things that they're, they're make, all making money in real estate, some fashion or another, they're cranking and killing it in the real estate investing industry, but they're all doing things differently from wholesaling to the way they market, to the way they dispo, if they're rehabbing, if they're doing new development, if they're doing note buying, there's so many different ways. Choose one path, one path, start with that one path and kill it. So specialization, becoming a specialist, going deep within that line is key to making a shit ton of money to become a success. Now I want to, Get this through because I'm saying, you know, I'm relating success with money. That's not just the case. We're talking about about right now in this show about real estate. But success in and of itself is not just money based. There's so much more to becoming successful. But in this show, we're talking specifically success in your business. Right. And so success in life is different. You could have a nine to five and be extremely happy and have time with your kids and family. If that's the definition of success that you're having and you're crushing it and you're doing exactly what you want to do, by all means, you can still apply everything that's in here, but I just want to make the differential. It's not just about money, but in this <laughs> in this podcast, we're talking about money because we are talking about real estate investing. All right, so crush that one. Number five. Number five is visualization. Uh, and look, this is, you'll hear it all the time, right? Oh, you visualize, use your mind. I can't stress enough on how important visualization is to whatever it is you want to do, have, and become in life. Whether it's that perfect spouse, whether it's the family that you're looking to create, the business you're looking to start, grow, and scale, the home you're looking to buy, the business you want to get into, um, the car you want to drive, the, the physical body you want to have, it all starts first as visualization in your mind's eye. You have to have an ability to go in, close your eyes, and really see in your mind's eye what it is you want to achieve. If you make this part of your daily regimen, I do it every morning. I actually do it at night too, every once in a while. Morning consistently and not at night not so consistent. And even sometimes during the day, I might break out into a five-minute visualization session or a 10-minute meditation. Why? Because it's important. For me, it's ultra important. And for a lot of guys and girls that are ultra successful, visualization, one form or another, it's key. You have to be able to see what it is that you want before you get it in whatever it is. And I'm not just talking again money. I'm talking anything. When I started back in the day with when I got into the mortgage industry, I saw that business in my head when I was a loan officer. When I first started doing the business, I saw the size of the business that I was going to build. I knew exactly what it was going to look like. I knew that seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years prior to it actually happening. I saw it in my mind's eye. When I got into this business on the fix and flip side, the wholesale side, I saw another opportunity and I said, holy shit, I can build this whole thing out. And I saw it in my head on what it would look like. And now last year, uh, a year and a half ago, I had this whole other vision of what I was going to build on the apartment investing side. I have the whole thing in my head, not every detail of how it's going to look and feel, but the most part of where it's going to go, and what it's going to look like in the end result. And now I'm just going to take the necessary steps in order to package this thing up and execute like an animal to get there. So visualization, guys, I can't stress it enough. If, if those that succeed versus those that don't, I'm guaranteeing you, unless they, were, they came into money as a kid, they visualize. They see it in their mind's eye. They see what's happening. They have this mindset to visualize what they want to do. And those that don't succeed, they're not clear. You have to be clear on what it is that you want. You have to be able to see it inside your head before you get it. Any single thing that you see, the computer that we're recording on, the stuff inside my office, the car that you drive, the house that it's, it's been a vision, somebody's vision first, and then that vision became an actual reality once they executed on it. All right, which brings me to number six. And then I think we're going to stop at six. And we're going to come back to the podcast and, and do the remaining six or seven. So number six and this is like, you know, right after visualizing and the first five that we went over, 
This is key. It's MFA. It's taking massive fucking action. I speak about this a lot. And so let me just clarify, right? Because taking MFA, if you're in a really bad spot right now in your life, if you're having a struggle, a hard time, if you're on the, like, you know, the bottom of the barrel, if you're mentally just going through some serious pain and struggle, if there's health issues, if there's a lot going on, it's almost impossible, not, not 100%, but it's almost impossible to understand and take on a daily basis massive fucking action, MFA, right? Because there's just so much going on. So in order to get there, there's two different mind frames with this. The first thing you need to do is have small, consistent wins. And a win could be just getting off the couch and taking a shower if you're all fucked up. If you have so much going on, like that was my win when I was on the bottom of the barrel filing bankruptcy, $14 million in debt. It was me just getting off the couch when I made the mindset that I was going to get into real estate investing and I had no money, no job, no income. What did I do? I'm like, I can't, it was, it was physically impossible for me to take MFA because of the world of the weight of the world felt like it was on my shoulders. So what did I do? I did little things, just one little thing a day. And then that one little thing turned into two little things. And before you know it, I had momentum. And once you have momentum, all of a sudden you start, you're able to move a lot faster than you were when you have the world of the weight on your shoulders. You still may have your problems. You still may have the world of the weight on your shoulders. You still may have all this shit you're dealing with, but because you're getting up and your motion, emotion creates motion, right? You're, you're, you're doing something, you're making something happen. Because you're doing that, you're able to start moving. And when you start moving, you have that momentum. All of a sudden, you're able to fucking hit that wind beneath your sails. I mean, <laughs> the, the, yeah, the wind beneath your sails. And you're able to take off. And so that's when you can start taking massive fucking action. So I don't want you to get confused and be like, look, he's telling me to take MFA, but I have so much going on. I can't do it. Then guess what? Start doing something. Little wins eventually will lead up to momentum, which eventually will lead up to you taking massive fucking action. But if you want to succeed ultimately – you're going to have to get to the point where you're taking MFA on a daily basis. And if it's starting off with small, consistent things that you're doing, do that. Start. Get that start. Get that momentum. And eventually start taking MFA. All right, listen. You've been watching the podcast, been listening to it. If you um, if you want any of the tools that we utilize, right, you can go to BillyAlvaro.com. They're all on there. They're also on Billy Secrets. <clears throat> if you want to invest with us. We have a lot of people right now that are investing money, tons, tons of money with us on the fix and flip, on the buy and hold, on the syndication deals with the apartments that we're doing. Hit me up, go to billyalvaro.com, hit on um, hit on invest. You can invest with us. If you're, if you're somebody who is wholesaling, you want a JV. We just did this past month, five deals on the JV side, four from wholesale, one fix and flip. If you have deals you want to get done, Maybe you need somebody to help close a deal with the seller because they're giving you a hard time. Our team, my team, will get on the phone with you with the seller, close it. We'll make a JV split this deal. We'll, we'll split the money up. If you have a wholesale deal, you're in another state. You have a deal in, in uh, New York, in New Jersey, in Pennsylvania. Hit us. We can JV. If you want to partner with me on deals, if you want to learn how, how to do what I do, listen, baby, hit me up. I'm, I'm here to, to make your life easier to put money in your pocket to create wealth, not only for you, but for me, for everybody that's getting involved. So that's it. That's my story. I'm going to come back part two of what separates those that succeed versus those that, those that don't. We're going to come back in the second podcast. We're going to go through the rest of these and, um, and then we're going to reveal exactly where this came from. Those of you who read a lot, you're going to realize where this came from and I'll tell you at the end. And um, I think that's it, guys. Enjoy. I will see you on the next one.